As winter approaches, the big question in the UK is always, will we get snow, or will it just be another season of endless grey skies and rain? Every year, people across the country look out their windows, hoping for a dusting of white or dreading the return of damp, chilly days. For many, the thought of more rain and drizzle is all too familiar, but this year, things might just be a little different. The latest forecast hints at a colder, snowier season than we've seen in recent years, especially for the northern regions. Meteorologists are already noting the signs of a shift, with early indicators pointing to more frequent wintry spells. Expect more frequent cold snaps, with snow likely over the hills and mountains of Scotland and northern England. These areas could see several significant snowfalls, making for a much more picturesque winter landscape. While we're not predicting a return to the legendary deep freezes of the past, this winter should feel more traditional. Think frosty mornings, icy pavements, and the kind of crisp air that makes you reach for your warmest scarf. The main drivers behind this change? Global weather patterns, especially the developing La Nina in the Pacific, which tends to bring colder, drier air to the UK. There's also unusual activity above the North Pole, with shifting winds and atmospheric patterns that could funnel Arctic air southwards, making our winter even chillier. These factors combined could bring an early chilly start to winter, with the first frosts and even some snow arriving sooner than usual. If you're in the Scottish Highlands, prepare for significant snow. You might even see conditions perfect for winter sports or those classic snowy scenes we all love. In London and the southeast, expect mostly frost and sleet, with the occasional dusting of snow, enough to cause excitement or perhaps a little chaos on the morning commute. We'll break down what's behind this forecast, the regional differences, and how you can get ready for the months ahead, whether you're planning a winter getaway or just want to keep your home warm and safe. Whether you love snow and look forward to building snowmen, or dread the disruption it brings to travel and daily life, this winter promises to be one to watch, with surprises in store for everyone. So, let's dive in and explore what's shaping up to be a classic, memorable British winter, one that could bring both challenges and moments of wonder. To understand what's in store for us this winter, we need to look thousands of miles away, across the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. It's here, in the heart of the Pacific, that a powerful climate phenomenon called La Nina is currently in play, shaping weather patterns around the globe. La Nina occurs when sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern Pacific become cooler than average. This cooling might seem subtle, but it has a dramatic effect, altering wind patterns, shifting the jet stream, and ultimately influencing weather far beyond the tropics, including right here in the UK. This year is especially notable, as we're experiencing a rare third consecutive La Nina event, often referred to as a triple dip. This persistence is unusual and can amplify its impacts. La Nina tends to push the jet stream further south than usual, opening the door for cold Arctic air to sweep down into northern Europe and the UK, especially during the heart of winter. This means we're more likely to see cold snaps and a greater chance of snow, particularly in the north and on higher ground, where wintry conditions can be more severe and persistent. However, the UK's weather is famously unpredictable. A constant tug of war between cold Arctic blasts and milder, wetter air brought in by the Atlantic. This means that even when deep freezes arrive, they rarely stick around for long. So, we can expect a pattern of cold spells followed by milder, wetter periods. In the south, snow is often fleeting, quickly turning to rain as Atlantic air returns, leading to rapid thaws and changeable conditions. Looking ahead to early 2000 der Benson Sautre 25, ein Funny Kive, Muddy Tausend and, uh, then chant into February, La Nina increases the odds of cold air outbreaks, especially during the core winter months when the UK is most vulnerable to icy blasts. Snowfall will be most likely in the north and upland areas, where temperatures stay lower. Elsewhere expect more frequent frosts, icy mornings, and the occasional dusting of snow, even in places that rarely see it. Still, the Atlantic's influence remains strong, so for most of us, extreme or long-lasting cold is unlikely. Instead, we'll see a mix of chilly snaps and milder interludes. Even so, La Nina sets the stage for a winter with more bite and unpredictability than we've seen in recent years. So be prepared for a season of surprises. High above the North Pole, the polar vortex usually keeps Arctic air locked away, 
This year, forecasters expect a sudden stratospheric warming SSW event in late November or early December. When the stratosphere rapidly warms, the polar vortex weakens, letting cold air spill south into Europe, including the UK. The effects take a couple of weeks to reach us, but when they do, they can trigger a prolonged cold spell. This is how the beast from the east happened in 2018. With both La Nina and an early SSW, the odds of a cold, snowy start to winter are higher than usual. While a repeat of 2018 isn't guaranteed, late December into January could bring widespread frost and snow, especially up north. The combination of these factors makes this winter's early months especially interesting for weather watchers. Prepare for a potentially sharp start to the season. Forecasters from the Met Office and other agencies agree. This winter is shaping up to be colder and snowier than average. The Met Office predicts a season of two halves, wet, windy spells mixed with colder, drier ones. Cold snaps are likely, but will be balanced by milder periods. So, don't expect a record-breaking freeze. Significant snow is most likely on higher ground in the north, with no nationwide blizzards expected. Private forecasters are also calling for a traditional chilly winter especially in January and February. European models show snow totals 10-20% above recent averages but far from historic extremes. The key message, variability, the UK's weather will swing between sharp frosts and milder, wet spells. The battle between cold Arctic air and the mild Atlantic will define the season. Expect a classic British winter, just a bit colder and snowier than we've seen lately. Stay alert for rapid changes and regional contrasts. Where you live will shape your winter experience. The North and Uplands, especially the Scottish Highlands, can expect frequent heavy snow, with totals reaching 50-100 cm on high ground. Northern England's hills and the Lake District may see 20-50 cm, with cities like Manchester and Leeds getting only brief, slushy snow. The Midlands and Welsh Uplands will get occasional snow, but it's less likely to settle for long. Southern England, including London, will see more frost than snow. Totals of 0, Sir Ten Sik Insan. Sir Inners. Mostly light and short lived. The warm Atlantic and English Channel keep southern snow rare and fleeting. Prepare for travel disruption in the north. In the south, expect chilly mornings and the odd dusting. The north south divide will be clear this winter. Legendary winners like 1962-63 and 1978-79 set the bar for extreme cold and snow in the UK. Those years are etched in memory for their relentless blizzards, snowdrifts that buried cars, and weeks when daily life ground to a halt. People still talk about the frozen rivers, the impassable roads, and the sheer scale of the cold that gripped the country. But this winter won't come close to those historic events. While we may see some chilly days and the odd flurry, the conditions simply aren't set for a repeat of those epic winters. The climate is warmer now. Average winter temperatures have risen by over a degree since the 1960s, and snow days have halved. Milder air means less chance for snow to settle, and when it does, it rarely lingers for long. Our winters are now more likely to bring rain and gray skies than weeks of deep snow. The epic freezes of the past relied on a blocked pattern, with high pressure over Scandinavia dragging in Siberian air. This setup trapped the UK in a deep freeze with bitter winds and relentless snowfall, sometimes for months at a time. This year, forecasts show a more mobile pattern. Weather systems are on the move, bringing short, arctic cold snaps, not a months-long deep freeze. Any cold spells will be brief, quickly replaced by milder, wetter weather sweeping in from the Atlantic. La Nina and a weak polar vortex favor bursts of cold from the north, not the sustained, bitter cold from the east. These patterns can bring a few icy mornings and the occasional snow shower, but they lack the staying power of the old big freeze setups. So while this winter will feel colder and snowier than recent years, it won't be a repeat of the great freezes. There may be moments of winter magic, enough for snowmen and sledges, but nothing on the scale of the legendary winters of the past. Expect a traditional winter, not a record breaker. Most of us will see a mix of chilly rain, the odd frost, and perhaps a dusting of snow, typical for the UK, but far from extraordinary. The conditions just aren't in place for another big freeze. The dramatic scenes of the past are unlikely to return, at least for now. Enjoy the chill, wrap up warm, and make the most of the season, 
but don't expect history to repeat itself. This winter will be memorable, in its own way, but, for very different reasons. November 2025 gave us a preview of the winter ahead. The month began with record-breaking warmth, thanks to Atlantic air, but quickly shifted as the jet stream moved south. By late November, Arctic air swept in, bringing the first widespread frosts and snow to the north. Scottish Highlands saw their first real snow with up to 7 centipeters on the peaks. This early cold snap signaled that the atmosphere was primed for a colder, snowier winter. November's swings between warmth and cold set the stage for a season of contrasts. The battle between mild and arctic air is already underway. With a colder, snowier winter likely, preparation is key. Get your heating checked, seal up drafts, and make your home winter ready to save on energy bills. If you live in the north or uplands, consider winter tires and keep an emergency kit in your car. Blanket, torch, charger, shovel, and snacks. Always check the forecast before traveling, and postpone trips if heavy snow is expected. Dress in layers, wear hats and gloves, and check on elderly or vulnerable neighbors. Good footwear helps prevent slips on icy pavements. Stock up on non-perishable food, medication, and grit for your path. Preparing isn't about panic, it's about being ready for what's likely. With a few sensible steps, you can stay safe and even enjoy the winter's beauty. A little planning goes a long way when the cold sets in. As winter 2025-2026 arrives, expect a return to a more classic British winter, colder, snowier, and full of contrasts. The north will see the most snow and disruption, the south, more frost and fleeting snow. Remember, forecasts give the big picture, not day-to-day -day details, so stay updated with the latest from the Met Office. The real story will be the ongoing battle between Arctic cold and Atlantic mildness. Be prepared, stay informed, and you'll handle whatever winter brings. For weather watchers, it's a season to savor. Stay warm, stay safe, and enjoy the best of a proper British winter.